Hi everyone, I'm Cassidy and I'm Jordan and we have a fun DIY project for you to do at home. Before we get started, we do want to say that we are six feet apart and we are social distancing. So, we're going to be making tie-dye masks using these plain white masks. We found this idea in these books that you can find at your Clearwater library. You will need a tie-dye kit, gloves, rubber bands, a plastic tub, plastic bags, and a mask. To start, open the lids of your dye bottles and add water. I'm going to be using the primary colors. Those are red, yellow, and blue. That way with the primary colors, if they mix, they will create other colors too. Next, you're gonna shake the bottle so the colored powder and the water are completely mixed together. To begin, put on your rubber gloves to protect your hands. Next, fold your mask into a pattern and hold in place using rubber bands. These are some of the patterns you could choose. The bullseye. Pull up from the center and gather. Tie with the rubber band. Continue to do this throughout the entire mask. Then you dye each section individually. The swirl. Pinch fabric and twist into a flat spiral. Bind with rubber bands. Dye each section separately. The crumple. Crumple your mask into one large circle. Bind with the rubber band and dye each section separately. Stripes. You're going to roll your mask and bind sections with the rubber band. Then dye each section separately. Sunbursts. Pinch and bind fabric several inches apart so there are little dots with your rubber band. Apply dye to each of the dots and then the rest of the mask. I chose the sunburst pattern. So next, you'll place your mask into the tub and begin the dyeing process. When you're finished, place your mask in a plastic bag, seal it, and let it sit for six to eight hours. Rinse the mask in cold water until the water runs clear and no more dye comes off. Once all the dye comes out, set your masks out to dry. Thank you for joining us for this DIY mask project. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.